Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the official Redemption RSPS YouTube channel. Redemption with over 400 plus online active daily with different masses, events, live streams, everything hosted. If you want to join, click the link down below in this video to join in on all the fun. Furthermore, when you're in game, do colon colon refer Moody in order to get yourself a massive starter set. And with that being said, let's get on to the video. Hey, how's it hanging everybody? In today's video, we're going to be farming Lodzmok for 5 hours straight and we're going to see exactly what we got from farming him for 5 hours straight. Now, who is Lodzmok? What does he drop? Is he good to farm? All that will be covered in this video and I might be a little excited for the video only because Lodzmok, if you've been keeping up with all the videos I've been posting, is probably my favorite moneymaker in the entire game and by far one of my favorite bosses to kill in Redemption. He's fun, he's rewarding, he's unique, the things he drops are just so so valuable. So let's hop into his breakdown. Alright, so Lots of Mike is really simple and I won't go too in depth as this is just a loot video. I want to show what I got from farming him. So I'll mainly talk about what he drops that's like super 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 profitable. So. To start off with item wise, we're gonna be talking about like the uh, the boxes that he drops. He drops a load of boxes, things like the herb lore crates, royal mystery boxes, and just the mega lottery boxes. Those are really good. Some of them are untradeable, some of them sell fairly quickly. And then mega lotteries can give you like five bill from it if you get lucky, which I've gotten quite a few and I've seen people get quite a few. So this is kind of the cherry on top. The other thing would be his draconic remains. The Draconic Remains are like the main money maker. By the end of the trip, you'll have God knows how many, I'm not sure how long you'll be there, but you'll realize that a bulk of your money are in those remains, and you can choose to either sell them or turn them into Lodzmok keys if you're trying to finish the log, which typically, if you're going there for money, you don't want to do, but you'll realize you'll make quite a bit off his remains. Alright, so now that we all know everything about Lodzmok, let's see what I made from camping him for 5 hours straight. There will be some untradeables, which I will gladly explain what they are, even though they don't have a technical value, but everything you need to know, you will see in this video, and it gets pretty insane. Alright, alright. We are starting our first hour over here at the Money Dragon. We're going to make sure that the fountain stays boosted so that I can get the maximum amount of Draconic Remains. I'll be boosting it myself, so yeah, let's go. No fucking way! Yo, I got the Ellie Ward the fucking way! Bro, I struggled to get my fucking recorder on! There's no way I got that! I need that too! Hold up, hold up, hold up. People are about to be so angry. Please, where the fuck is my... Dude! I just need the pet. A few pe- There's no way I got the perfect ward. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. Two hours in. Inventory is looking fat. We have a really good stack of the uh, Royal Mystery Boxes, we have a lot of Draconic Remains, and a lot of just raw cash. We also got the Trunks of Salvage, and we got the Toxic Rounds right there, which are really good. Not a collection log item, sadly, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll see if we can finish it. Hey, coming in with a Beacon of Rage 1. Pretty useless, I didn't need it, but hey. Alright, so we take those. We're just a little bit more in, probably another like 20 minutes in, but... Man, this inventory is looking beautiful. Like, this this boss, I love him. Hey, let's go. Toxic round one. It's collection log item. I needed that. Just three more. Like, can we can we finish it? Can we actually finish Lodzmok? Ah, oh, he's so angry. I love him. <laughs> I did not check it, but turns out Lodzmok is actually boosted with some extra drops. And I just got a pet crate. Easiest five bill. Alright, and now... That is the five hour mark. All right, with a quick look at the inventory, there's two things that pop out to me. One, you know, that damn Ellie Ward. But two would be the raw cash and the Draconic Remains. Just taking a look at this inventory, it's worth easily over like 40, 50 bill. And honestly, getting the Ellie Ward was just outstanding. Like that is, that was so good. Even the uh, Toxic Rounds one, two collection like, items that I desperately needed. I'm almost done with the collection log now. I just need the Lazarus Jr. and a few other of the uh, Elemental Wards. And I got just the rest of the boxes as well. It's just so much items rack up 
but just that bulk remain price is just it that's where all the money is all right a little box opening really quickly see what maybe we can get i it's most likely not gonna be much Now, as tempting as it is to open up the pet crate, I did promise a friend that I would sell it to him. Either way, that's a free 5 bill, so it's probably smarter to sell either way. Alright, everything sold. We're walking in with 65-ish bill, give or take. Bunch of untradables, but they're all outstanding. The Ellie Ward is just, like, it's nothing to overlook. That is just such a valuable piece to get. Alright, and on the topic of the items, we have all three of the sources and their untradable versions, which are the 1, 2s, and 3s. Those 1, 2, and 3s, you can't equip them, they're nothing of the sort, actually. You just want to go to the forge over near Lodzmach and you upgrade them into a pocket slot item that gives you either range, magic, or mage. And as for the Ellie Ward, it's a tribrid version with different upgraded versions. So either the full arctic source, full toxin rounds, or the full beacon of rage are tradable. As for the 1, 2, 3 variants, they're all untradable. Same thing with the Ellie Wards and the Ellie Ward variants. They're all untradable and the only way to get them is by upgrading, which is what makes Lazmak just outstanding money. He's always in high demand due to his draconic remains also being the item that increases your success rate at said upgrades. And I guess another quality of life is that you can grind them if you don't need them. Let's say you're an Iron Man or a main level and you have a few of the untradable pieces and you don't really want to camp lots of until you have a full piece. They are grindable for about like 5 bill worth in points, so that's cool. Yeah, that would happen to me. Of course it did. 